hi and welcome to pumpkins nail station today um, I'm gonna do a demo of the she modern ombre pigments which are these just here Let me just pull you out so you can see them so that is the white the green the orange and the black this is just some demos that I did um, but I instead of using gel polishers I used the she modern pigments as a base so that one was the red sheer pigment powder that one there was the purple neon this one just here was the neon green and this one at the end was the neon bright neon yellow so I just sort of decided to have a go with the bases so you get an idea of what it would look like if you used it as a set. I actually think this red one here with the black trim and then I also added a little bit of the pixie iridescent around the edges you know just to give it a little bit of a shimmer effect it's just something that I was playing around with um, and I've actually made a decal so I'm going to see if I can manage to stick her on there or I might decide to put um, something else on there so I haven't decided yet <laughs> so I've just cured some gel polishes that I think will go with the ombre pigments so I'm going to swap these over so I've got a black a red like a peach neutral and a green so these three are all Maffy polishers um, I think they're made by Azure and that one is a I May Lee 072 um, so yeah so that is that one so what I was thinking was I've tried to sort of pick colours that will go with with the colours but I'll just talk about what you would get in a set in general um, I'm going to put the price at the bottom of the screen I think these are 24 99 um, you can still go to shemodern.com but I think, you can, I think there's a link to buy them through Amazon as well Amazon USA so you'll get your four pigments in there and you would get your random bonus um, foil detail strip and it would come in the packaging like that so I'm going to put the exact price just below and I'll put the website links in the description boxes so now we know what we get so now we'll go through what we're going to be using them with so the peach one I'm going to use the orange with I'm just going to keep it quite simple today the green one will be for that the black will go on the red and the white will go on the black so that's what that's that's what I'm going to try and have a go at today so I'm just going to move these out of the way and then afterwards we'll probably stick on um, some she modern decals onto a few like the orange ones might go on there um, probably stick some of those onto there um, and then I've got some other things like some stamping things or some things that I can stick on stuff but I might just try and find some decals that will go on them all and we'll decorate them all with she modern so like those hollow ones might look nice on there and then I might find something that will go on that one so I'm just going to get the pigment everything ready what I'm going to need so this is a she modern canvas wrapped in kitchen foil so we're going to dispense one colour at a time you're going to need a makeup sponge so I'm going to have to get a clean one if I'm out of my drawer so you're going to need to cut it up to around that size just there um, this one was used in the breast cancer awareness money that I just did um, where I used it dry on regular polish so there'll be a video um, showing how I did that it should be posted in time so I'll put it in the top right if it is so I'm hoping to get that out tomorrow and today is Sunday <laughs> so right so but basically we're going to dispense out a bit of the polish first so I might go for the green because I haven't used that one yet so you don't need a lot so 
you may need to give them a little shake or a little tap on the desk when they first come, when they first arrived um, because they'll probably be a little bit stiff if you've not used them so just give them a bit of a shake up because you can feel the powder moving around and it fluffs it up and it it comes out easier than not you see just making sure you can see what I'm doing so that should be enough so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get another makeup sponge so I'm just going to have to pause the camera because I'm going to have to rummage through my art drawer to find one so I'll be right back sorry about this guys right so I'm back so I'm going to put a base coat layer onto the green one like this because you're going to have to put a base coat on it and cure it first on top of the so after you lay down your colour you don't need to put a top coat down you just put a base coat on and you don't wipe off the tacky layer so I'm just going to pop that into the lamp and cure it for 30 seconds and while that is curing I've dispensed that and then I'm just going to need my scissors because we're going to have to cut our cosmetic sponge because we only need like a thin part of the cosmetic sponge so we just sort of need that bit or if you prefer to hold something bigger you can use the bomb bit or you know I might even try one of these sponges as well because it's got a bit of a handle on it it might be less messy to work with then what you're going to need is a no wipe top coat so I'm just going to use this azure one just going to unscrew the bottom so you just pop a bit on the edge of the brush like that so you've got that like that and then you've got your powder onto your canvas And then we've got our nail tip. So let me just make sure I put that where you can see it. So, yep, so we can see that. And then what I'm going to do is the part that's got the no wipe top coat on, we're going to dip that into the um, powder to the ombre pigment so that it forms like a paint type texture. We've got a pumpkin here then. And then you'll have something like that on the edge of your sponge. And then at this stage, we're just going to dab it on like so. And then we want it to get thinner as we go up. So you can even turn the sponge around and you can start fading it out, sort of like that. Um, I'm not brilliant at this yet so I'm just sort of or you can put less pressure on and just bring it up like so and then put more pressure at the bottom and then what we'll do is we'll cure this and then if we want it more opaque we'll come back and we'll add another layer so I'm just going to cure that for 30 seconds probably going to pop a little bit more of the pigment because you can always add a little bit more but it's not as easy to put it back um, you can also pop a little bit of your no wipe top coat there so you're not contaminating your brush you can dip your sponge in it and then go back in to the pigment like that so yep so that's that so that's cured now and then because we want to make this more opaque oops a bit slippy just make sure you can see what i'm doing then we're just going to add more to like the bottom and then get a little bit lighter and even lighter like that So let me just have a look at it from this way. Straighten that up. So 
So yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Um, it is something you just have to keep playing with. It's one of those things really. So I'm going to cure that. And then I'm just going to wipe this part up with some alcohol. And then we're going to dispense some more colours. And I'm going to cut a bit more of the sponge off. So I'm going to clean this up. And then I'll come back and we'll be ready to do the next colour. Right, so we are back. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more. Make sure we're focused in. So now I've basically done the same thing. I've just trimmed off a bit more of the excess off the sponge. Um, oops, I forgot to put the base coat on. <laughs> you, will, uh, you will keep up with me one of these days. So I'll just put that on quick because we can be preparing the sponge while it's curing. Don't need to start again. So I'm just going to pop that into the lamp. And then while that's curing, I've put the no wipe top coat on there. I've dispensed the orange onto there. I'm just going to dab it so that it's all turned into paint onto there. And don't forget at this stage you can always add a little drop of your no wipe top coat to your canvas in case you want, you know, like a more of a thicker paint texture. That should be cured now. So we've got that there. And then we're just going to, what I might do is I might do it from the top this time. Just do something a bit different. Like maybe. You know, something a bit more jagged. Like that. We've got some there and we can also maybe trim the bottom off like so. And then we'll probably just stick some pumpkins or something in there. So I'm just going to cure that. And then if we want it more opaque, remember we just dip our thing into our what we put there. We can just rub it back on so we've got more colour onto the sponge you don't need to cure this for very long 10-15 seconds is more than enough and then we can just make it a little more opaque more texturised a bit more Textures. So yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Um, that's just like something, I mean you can always add another colour of the ombre pigment, you know, at the bottom or, you know, mixed in with it. You, you can do whatever with it. I'll just show you how I cleaned up my canvas. I just got some acetone on there. Just so you can work with more than one colour on here and you're not you're not contaminating it. But to protect your fingers, I would probably get your money saver claw and just give it a wipe. This just means that you can use the same canvas again if you wanted to say use white or something like that. So we have got two ready now. So now we'll work for the black on the red so what I might do is I might use this for something a bit different and we'll see how that goes so I'm just going to switch the camera off a sec and put the base coat on both of these just to save a bit of time and then I'll get everything else ready and I'll be right back right so I am back my, I didn't realise my camera had stopped filming when I did this tip but I'm just going to explain to you quickly how how I created it. So basically I did exactly the same thing except I got one of these sponges here. I put the paint onto there and then initially I did a thin, thin trim going around the edges like 
you know basically like this I just went all the way around in a really thin trim and then I did the bottom slightly thicker I cured it and then I came back and I got a sponge like this and I got my I put exactly the same thing the no wipe top coat on there dubbed it in there and then to create a bit more texture I just came in like with my sponge like so like this just to go in and get a little bit more of an effect like a spooky kind of effect to cause like form like a frame so basically that's what I did um, if anybody really wants to see me do that again then comment below and I'll, I'll happily do the nail again for you so I'm just going to cure that again because I've just popped a little bit more on there I think I had too much on the memory card. I knew I should have deleted some of the old stuff off, but I thought I'd have enough enough room. So I can only say sorry about that, guys. And now we're going to move on to the white. So, I mean, I might even do the same for the white a little bit, just to give you some idea on what happened. So I'm just cleaning that off just because I want it to be completely white so remember you need to shake up your new containers or tap them on the table and give them a good shake about this will make it easier for it to come out of the bottle get a good amount I mean don't be tight but don't obviously put too much on that it's not usable um, so I'm going to just cut that sponge because we are going to use this so you just cut it off and dispose of any little bits like that that you're not going to use again so yep yeah, get your new wipe top coat on the edge like so dab it in make sure it's all dabbed in where's that nail? there it is <laughs> So I've put the tacky base layer on this already and let's go. So I might try, I'm just, just going to do what I did in the last video again just to sort of show you what I did. But I might try and do it a little different this time. I might just go straight in for some textured kind of pattern. And then you can come in and give yourself a bit more texture for your frame, like so. So that's basically what I did with the black and red nail tip, but I did it with a sponge and I did a bit more sort of texture, but that's basically, that's more or less what I did. So we're just going to cure this now. I'm kind of gradient it in gently to form less you know less like less product to give it like a textured effect here I will do more nails with this, like more just normal standard gradients as well. I just thought this would be something fun to do for Halloween. So I'm just going to cure that. And then we're just going to get all the nail tips back that we have done. So we've got that one. We've got the standard gradient there. And then we're just waiting on that one. So at this stage you would put your decals on. So what I'm going to probably do, because I think this one's run on long enough, I'm going to finish this video here without putting any top coat or anything on. And then I'm going to start a part two, um, which is just where I decorate them and add the decals on. Because I just don't want it to be way, 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 way too long. 
so yeah so that's all the gradients that I've done using these awesome picking powders I think they're so fun I think you can do you know some interesting nail art designs with them I'm just going to come out so yeah I do think you can do some more some interesting nail arts I love this one this one has probably got to be one of my favorites out of the bunch so I love that I think that looks really really spooky I even like this one I think it's gonna look cool with some pumpkins on it this green one looks pretty cool this one looks cool as well I like this one which I'm going to probably put some schools on or something I like this as well I think this has got a bit of texture to it and a bit of character so yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video here and then I'm just going to film the part two and release them together so the next one will be basically applying decals to the gel polish ones and uh, if we get time I'll apply it to the other ones but I think for speed I might only do one or two of the powdered ones probably just decorate these ones so I'm just going to finish it here then so thanks for watching I put all the links in the bottom for the ombre pigments and the pigments that I've that I used here um, and if you want to know about the nail polishes that's been used in this let me know and I'll send you the links for the sets that was used so I'm going to call it a day here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare some decals to go on these for a quick part two thanks for watching bye